if movies had stocks, I would put all my money on this documentary because it's going to be the best documentary ever. According to the critics, of course. The user review is going to be probably below three stars. But hey, who cares what the people think? Am I right? <laughs> you know, it's very interesting because this is a window into what's happening in real life right now. You get documentaries with very controversial people, very divisive people, like Dr. Fauci, for example. And you get the media giving them huge scores, like massive. And then you have the people that are giving them very low reviews. And then also the media is saying that, oh, it's because the people are trolling. You see, everyone loved the movie. Everyone appreciated it. It's just a couple of trolls that are giving it bad reviews. When in reality, anyone that's actually looking at the problem is going to notice that the media are the trolls. They are trolling the people. In many movies, they are either trying to push something up or they're trying to push something down that people enjoy. But it's the media that's doing the manipulation in cahoots with the website Rotten Tomatoes, which has publicly announced that they're willing to change the algorithm, they're willing to change the system, or they're willing to simply remove reviews from the public just to please their corporate overlords like Disney. Aha! So that's pretty much what's happening. Now, <clears throat> for example, the documentary, Why Are People Upset? They don't mention important things. Like, for example, with Dr. Fauci, they don't mention that he actually gave money to an institute to do research on dogs and they stuffed the dog in a cage with flies so that the flies would eat the dog alive. I can't even show that on YouTube because it's very grotesque. And by the way, nothing came out of that research. Like they didn't even find anything. And as a bonus, they also debarked the dog so they can't bark and howl as the flies are eating them alive. And, and, and this is like in the public sphere, like it's in the press, everyone knows about it, it's official, it's not some conspiracy theory. Why don't they mention that in the documentary? Why? Because the documentary isn't actually about his life. It's supposed to be a propaganda piece. It's supposed to prop him up. They're ignoring any controversial issues. They're ignoring any negative side. And I'm pretty sure it's exactly what they're do going to do with Pete Buttigieg. If you're unaware, the man is highly controversial right now. Because his ministry is experiencing one of the worst crises in American history when it comes to a shortage of trucks, a shortage of containers that transports goods from international waters into America, empty shelves. And he is the Ministry of Transportation. He's responsible for all of these things. And everyone is looking like, who's responsible? Who's the minister? Oh, it's Pete Buttigieg. Why isn't he doing anything about it? And the media is saying, look, the reason people don't like him isn't because of the shortages. The reason people don't like him is because he's gay. Because if you expect to have meat on this... On <clears throat> because clearly, anyone who expects to have meat on the table this Christmas is homophobic. I mean, it's, it's, it's so surreal, isn't it? It's got nothing to do with the fact that he's gay. It's literally his job... To be the Ministry of Transportation, and if there is a problem with the transportation, you would think he is to blame. Like, that's how logic functions in a normal, healthy country. But apparently not. So you get these movies, you know, and it's uh, apparently, according to Amazon, uh, win or lose, their story changed history. How did the story change history? What, what new proposal did he have that changed history? Did he come up with a solution to make the traffic more fluid? Did he come up with a solution to get the transportation in the U.S. not to pollute and still maintain the same quota? No, it's just that he's gay. That's what changing history means nowadays. Like, do you honestly think people are going to study a thousand years from now when they're going to look back in history and they're going to study the uh, breaking of the glass ceiling done by Pete Buttigieg? Like, no one knows. No one cares, obviously. But I guess it's the cultural zeitgeist in the U.S. You put people in charge... And as long as they have a correct sexuality or a correct gender or a correct heritage, then it changes history, even though they're not doing anything. Or on the contrary, maybe it does change history, but for the worse. Because if you don't know, if, he, if you actually look into the thing to put salt on the wound, what he did 
is that he took a paternity leave during the crisis. It's bizarre, isn't it? And, and they were complaining, oh, look, Trump is playing golf while a crisis is happening. He's doing the, the, the same thing. Like, he's got a husband. Why didn't the husband take the paternity leave? The husband isn't the Ministry of Transportation. You'd think his job is more essential. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I can't believe I'm making politics on this channel of all things. But this is like the second documentary that I see about the controversial person. And you know I'm right. You know the critics are going to give it over a nine star. You know that's the case. And you know that people are going to give it below two stars. You know what? I'll do this. If, if they get three stars, I will apologize. I'll be, you know what? I'm wrong. Because a lot of people will be like, well, hey, V, you haven't seen it. Yes, and if I haven't seen it, how do I know the future? How do I know what's going to happen without having seen it yet? Why can I do that and you can't? And before you say anything, just, just wait for the documentary to be out. And then you're going to be like, how do you know? How do you know, V? How do you know? And I will not tell you. Because the knowledge is hidden. It's only with me. Let me know what you guys think, though. And I'm curious, like, who's going to get the next documentary? Which divisive person in the history of the U.S. is going to get another documentary? Can you imagine, by the way, like, if Trump would get a documentary and it would only be 100% positive and 100%, like, ignoring all of the controversy, ignoring everything, just positivity after positivity after... Even Trump supporters would probably hate it. Even they would be like, come on. It makes no sense. Like, why are they doing this? It kind of reminds me of the times under socialism in Romania. Like, it was the same thing. Before every movie, you had to watch a segment with either the dear leader or some other person you probably hated. And it would be like a documentary about how great they are and how amazing they are. You know, like a five or ten minutes clip where it will show you, like, how lucky you are because you're under socialism and you have such a smart leader. And everyone clapped. But deep inside, everyone hated them. Everyone knew that everyone else hated them. They knew that everyone knew that everyone knew that they hated them, but they did it anyway. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section.